My name is Caleb, thanks for joining me for this video. So this is part two of two. In part one, we looked at what happens if you go to update your lens and it fails mid-update. So your lens disconnects or your computer shuts off or something, right? Um, in this one, we're gonna look at what happens if you would like to roll back your update. So you wanna go back to the previous version. Um, or if you did the update, it said that it updated, but it's very, very clear once you put a lens on your camera that it's not functioning like normal. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so first things first, we wanna to go to the firmware that we'd like to update to. We're going to make a copy and we are going to, we're gonna change the name, right? So in this case, we're using firmware version four. The lens, as you're gonna see here, is actually in firmware version five. So we're gonna to go to the version four and we're gonna change it to the same firmware that you'd like to update to. So the same version you'd like to update to. So it could be the same firmware version that's on the lens or future one. As long as it's higher, it's not lower. Because if it's lower, even though the firmware itself is actually lower, it's gonna tell you, please choose latest firmware as you're gonna see here, right? Please select the latest firmware. So once we um, change the name of that file and we select that file to load into the program, it's gonna say downloaded file has been completed, the reading, and it's gonna allow us to update it. So then you're just gonna let it process and I'm just gonna fast forward through it because once it has processed, you're gonna see that even though we change the firmware, okay, so you see that message? That message is because um, even though we change the name of the, the firmware, that really just fools the program for the purposes of updating. Once you've actually updated the lens, it's still firmware version four. So when it's reading the lens now, when the lens doc is reading the lens, it's gonna say the correct firmware version, even though you change the name to update it. So that way in the future, you won't have any issues updating to the new version where you have to change the name or anything. But worst case scenario, if you do ever run into an issue, you now know you can just change the name to the same firmware version that's on the lens or a future version to complete the update. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you missed the other video, go take a look just in case you find yourself in that situation instead. And um, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you in the next video.